friends and greetings for the day welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB advanced test analyst we are in chapter 4 and looking at the same topic 4.2 but we are talking about the part 2 of the usability testing the previous tutorial is part 1 as it was a long topic we are breaking into two different tutorials so in case you have not visited click the card above to go back to the previous tutorial and look into the next one so here in this uh, tutorial we'll be talking more about usability testing which we could not cover in the previous tutorial we have something more about usability evaluation approaches now when you talk about approaches it means basically how usability testing can be conducted how a usability of a product can be measured and evaluated so if you see here we've got three different approaches to in practice which are being uh, performed within the organization and industries that is usability testing usability reviews and usability surveys and questionnaires so we'll understand each one of them in more detail one after the other so very first thing here is about usability testing which generally means that uh, the testing which is practical execution of certain activities which uh, evaluates the usability needs of a product or application which generally uh, helps us to understand how easily the user can learn and operate the product for a specific context of the product which is being created and there are certain measures which we generally follow as a part of it so the, there are three parameters which we target as a part of usability testing like effectiveness efficiency and satisfaction now of course we know about these terms let's understand quickly in one line what these stand for usability testing if you talk about effectiveness it is a capability of the test object to enable users to achieve specified goals with accuracy and completeness in specified context of use so it, the statement says very well that the user should be able to work on it precisely in terms of you know performing each activity the way they should understand and following that of course complete that activity just like a transaction being performed as a part of an application is called as effectiveness as you talk about efficiency the capability of the test object to enable users to expend appropriate amount of resources in relation to the effectiveness achieved in a specified context of use efficiency how well they can do it like did they need any kind of support or they need any other applications to understand certain things or the keywords which are mentioned on the product or the application were so complicated that they required dictionary to follow the same so all together we need to understand whether it was user friendly for them or not and, and then at the end of course satisfaction comes as a top up like capability to test object to satisfy users is in a specified context of use so it was that you know satisfying the end user at the end of the day or not if the user is not satisfied of course they will look for the alternate option in terms of user friendliness for doing the same activity now of course it is very important for the test analyst to understand what kind of design and what kind of test will be created to test the usability of the application and it is really important to have certain skill set related to usability which was very important for the test analyst to be aware of to apply those skills when it comes to usability testing coming to the next is usability reviews of course we know about reviews in the previous tutorials as well as the foundation level syllabus that there are different reviews which can be conducted but what kind of reviews can be conducted as a part of usability so of course we talk about inspection or the review types which are applicable can be applicable in usability as well so like when you talk about inspection is the most formal review which we generally conduct to make sure that nothing gets you know left out in terms of you know covering the targeted uh, requirements or features or design whatever so we give less priority to other different review types like walkthrough informal review or technical because here we are talking about the interaction of the users with the application which you are building so inspection will be the more thing because you would need some reference from the documentation the design which you have created and then formally making sure that everything is being done precisely alternate way you can also look into the heuristic evaluation which is a systematic inspection of a user interface designed for usability 
which can be used to find usability problems in the design so that it can be attended to as a part of the inter inter iterative design process as well. So generally heuristic is obviously one of the good approaches to be applied at this point of time which would give you a better output and more efficient quality. Of course uh, the reviews are helpful and uh, are effective in terms of uh, finding the defects and uh, finding the visible areas which would be complicated to be found in other terms. Now when you talk about this statement which is written here like reviews are more effective when the user interface is more visible. Now you're talking about usability. Of course uh, we would prefer to have a screenshot rather than having a documentation which would uh, maybe not give us the clarity what exactly we're talking about. So what I mean to say here is when you conduct interview, uh, usability reviews, you prefer to have the application screenshots or some kind of navigations to be discussed rather than having a formal documentation of requirements or user stories which might not give you a better clarity. But if you have a screenshot that would give you a better clarity that what is the interface all about and how the user will actually try to attempt to perform any activity. At the end, of course, we do have certain uh, organizations uh, globally available for usability surveys and questionnaire. This organization uh, keep collecting a certain information from time to time from different uh, group of people. So if you are at any point of time trying to implement usability and accessibility features or testing them as a part of your product, then you can always approach these organizations to collect the standard information, standard data about the uh, surveys which they have collected and the questionnaires which they have taken from the uh, end users from global market. So we have two organizations here called Asumi which stands for Software Usability Measurement Inventory and VIMI, which means Website Analysis and Measurement Inventory. So these are the two organizations which quite often keeps uh, creating certain surveys to take input from the users and questionnaire about different technology, different activities, different features, different products across the globe. So you can always, uh, an organization can always approach them to get uh, the standard information which should be followed as a part of the usability and accessibility implementation. So alright, that's, that's all we have from this particular tutorial in part 2 of usability testing. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial of this section which is portability testing. So stay tuned for that. Should you have any query, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.